We're going to see. Ha ha. I bet there's sound now. I bet so. Good Lord, you guys. Um, it's been it's been interesting. <laughs> um, I've never done that before. Never forgot to plug in my mic. Um, so same on my end. Oh, no. Muted. Yay. <laughs> see, it helps if you plug in your mic. Um, helps a lot. So hello, everybody. Look at, okay, I can hear. <laughs> okay, so y'all, we're building a Fundy College today. Hello, everybody. Hello, Vampire Wolf Girl. Hello, Millie Dragon. Hello, Jacob. Love that you are feeding the kitty. Do you have a name for the kitty that you are feeding? He's very lucky to do that, to have you to do that. Hello, Alley Cat. How are you? Isaac's up. Okay, tagged as having CC. Okay, so I will remember that. I don't know that I'll be moving in the members yet. I'll probably save them to my library, but we won't place them yet. Um, the And Rachel Ped, thank you so much. Very first Players Club member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, the guys, we're building a Fundy College and I'm so excited. I'm like unreal levels of excited uh, right now. I'm bringing up some pictures so that I can tell you uh, which, which, uh, inspo image I used, uh, which one, which one, which one it's, is it this one? It's this one. Okay. So y'all I'm going to try to bring in, is this big enough? Can we see? Um, Roommate mostly does it. Oh, he has a whole cat army that follows him around when he goes outside. Oh, that's funny. Um, so, um, y'all. Wait, where's the picture? Hello? I don't care about your college, really. I just want the picture. Um, so, Liberty University uh, is what I based this college off of. This is the inspiration image that I used. Um, it's got this like really tall tower called Freedom Tower. Uh, it is a Bible college in Lynchburg, Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, this is their logo. Uh, so it's reds and whites, um, and blues, uh, which I think is really cool. We actually have some uniforms with high school years that go super well with that. But let's take a look at our lot. Um, the oh, cat lady. Yay. Um, the one who cries at the door is Dawn. Phil is Dawn's friend. <laughs> Harry Winkler is the one I get. And now he's a new, uh, there's a new white cat out there. Aw. So let's, okay, let's put walls up. Uh, my game is struggling y'all. So, uh, this is, this is Fundy Symbol College. I don't know that we'll name it anything. We could, we could. I'm open for suggestions for what to name her. Uh, so this is my version of this. Um, better builders may not have had uh, as hard a time with this as I did, but the floor plan took me five ever to figure out. There's the little freedom tower, um, kind of our version. I can only get four stories high. Um, and so I put a little, a little woohoo spot on the top of it because we love chaos. So <laughs> the scream I just let out, someone went to school with goes to Liberty University. Oh no, I honestly worry about her. I know she means well, but I worry about all the propaganda. Yeah. Um, yes. So I forget where it is. We're going to be bringing up, um, some, um, some rules that I was able to look up. There aren't any like peer reviewed sites that I have, unfortunately. Um, but you know, it's just internet gossip. Um, so wait, hello, copy. We'll go in. I'll give you guys a tour. Nope. Yes. All right. I'll give you guys a tour. So, um, we're going to go down. Liberty University is actually three or four stories tall. Like this is their business building, their business college of business. Um, I decided that it was our main building. So you come on in. Um, it's very like Roman Greek inspired. Um, they really like that symmetry in this building style. So let's put these up. I also hate playing on like medium and tall wall height, but I'm going to have to with the dimensions. Uh, so you come on in and I haven't 
built out all of this. I've just put certain things in certain rooms to remind me what it is I plan to do there. Definitely open for suggestions. So this can change at any point. But this is like our main entrance hall. Then you can go back on out and this will be like sort of the back of it. Um, I tried to go for a very like manor kind of feel. Um, these wallpapers can all change. Very open to that. This is going to be our little computer lab. They can go on the computer, but um, Liberty, or I'm sorry, Symbol College, Fundy Symbol College, is going to be absolutely restricting their internet use. You can only have a computer in this room. Um, this is just going to be like a normal classroom. I've got little, um, little journals for them to be able to um, keep notes, right? Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know that this is going to be functional, but it's in here for aesthetics. Um, I think the way that I'm going to do this is that I'm going to have a household. So there will only be eight Sims that are able to be on this lot. Um, I think four of them are going to be college students, like seminary students. This is just a little, like a little lounge kind of thing. And then in here is going to be our library. So this will be the, the great library. Um, if we go this way to the other side, we've got, um, this is going to be like, maybe like biblical world history or symbolical world histories, pardon me. Um, so we're going to have like an archeology span table. Uh, we've got a gem table. So we're going to do like geology. Um, so they're going to be trying to, <laughs> to find evidence of the ark. Um, and then this is a woodworking table because that's manly, you know, um, the scream I just let out. <laughs> We're trying to save money to get them each fixed. Oh, wonderful. We wish we could bring Dawn inside, but it'll be a bunch of vet visits. We just can't. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome that you're wanting to get them fixed. I wonder, I wish that there was like a catch and release plan maybe that you could look at. Uh, like she's such a nice person. They usually really are. Um, she really loves God. And I honestly think she wouldn't ever try to hurt someone. But with all the rules there, uh, yes, there are a ton of rules. Um, Bob Jones University is one of those. They don't like Abercrombie and Fitch <laughs> as a brand. So you're not allowed to wear them. Uh, this is going to be like um, the president of the university's office or like the, the head. I was going to say headmaster, but that's not really a college thing. Um, so like this is this is like the president of the university's office. Um, that we're going to do in here. We've got some some little bathrooms. He's got his own bathroom coming off this way. All these swatches could change. Very open to that. This is just a hall bathroom. And then upstairs, um, we've got, let's see. I'm going to have to watch the VOD. Oh, sorry, Katie. Um, I'm working a theater show tonight. Oh, congratulations. Um, thank you so much for popping in. I hope everything goes well at the theater. Um, so this is our upstairs landing. This is going to be more the residential floor. So on this floor, this is where the boys go. All right. So this is going to be like a common room. Uh, this is going to be their, their big bathroom, you know, toilets, sinks, showers in here. Um, this is going to be like a I don't know, maybe like a game space, game room. I don't know. And then here are the dorms. Um, the None of this is built out really yet. Um, I've just got the floor plan down. Guys, that took me hours, 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 hours. Um, this would have been an eight hour stream if I started with an empty lot. Um, now here is um, more the staff wing, I think is what we'll come to think of it. This is going to be the dining room. So we've got a dining area here. Ugh. So you'll come in and it's very, very impressive. I'm guessing this will be. Blues are gonna be coming through some red accents, whites, grays. Those, those are really what we're gonna be going for. Um, and it only is going to look like Liberty University, but it's going to be a smashing and amalgamation of a lot of Bible colleges in the U.S. So really, the Fundy rules are going to be, they're going to be going, right? Um, it's going to be a smattering of everyone's. Um, Pensacola University, <laughs> or Pensacola Bible College, something like that, is 
uh, one that I'd never heard of, but is like super controlling um, with their students. So here's a little kitchen right off the uh, formal dining room. I think this is probably gonna be like a staff eating area. I don't know, or maybe the staff will have to eat with the students. Here's a little hallway. Off this hallway is going to be, um, they've got a double bed in here, but it may end up being two twins because we are going to have two young ladies probably um, helping to do some of the clerical work um, and serving. They are serving. They are not employed. Very important distinction because servants don't get paid. Um, and if you're being paid, then you're working and then you're not doing the watcher's will for you. Um, so this is going to be the, um, the student secretaries. Well, they're not students. The, um, the serving secretary's uh, little dorm room. And they have a bathroom. Uh, and then this is the president's suite. Um, so bed, little table and chairs. And I think the, the president is going to have a wife. Um, she is, he's going to take care of the boys. She's going to lead the young ladies. Um, and that's, that's how that structure will be. So um, watched the, uh, I watched about the IBLP and some of their campuses were built by the teens. <gasps> so there was a lot of child labor. So our Fundy Symbol College was probably built by the students more than likely. Um, you know, those teens that they send on like, um, like work, um, missions, if they get in trouble, they, you're right. They absolutely are, um, sent to construct buildings uh that's that's the right we're gonna sweat the sin out of you um essentially and make you contrite and repentant so this is gonna be our freedom tower i don't know how i'm going to be able to get things up here because um i've kind of made a mess for myself the game does not like uh what i've done here the um oh it kicked it out um the ladder going up, it doesn't like adjusting those heights because these are all different height floors to try to get the maximum like overhang for this tower. Um, it, it just shuts the game down for me. It's just totally done. Um, so I don't know how, but I'll figure it out before we get to filming. Uh, this is kind of like a chapel. And instead of just coming and seeing the message, this is a research and debate stand. Um, so instead of receiving a message, they're going to be giving a message and they're going to be learning the discipline of something called apologetics, um, which is basically the defense of your faith um, or the defense of your interpretation of your faith and why everyone else should interpret it that way as well. Again, this isn't really done. Um, nothing's in a really finished state um, except the outside, really. Um, this is the quad. So my idea is that this is where students would come maybe between classes. They would just chill out, have, you know, something pretty, some scenery. Um, and then they can go and they can get like, I don't, I don't know if these are going to be manned. I have no idea. But at least for aesthetic purposes, they can get some little pizza. They can get some little Mediterranean stuff. Um, this is Symbol College. So the Mediterranean diet would be um, pushed um, as something a little bit more godly or a little bit more watcherly. Um, do you have a university president or wife maid? Oh, um, I don't, I don't yet. Um, I would think that I would probably want them maxed out on skills like cooking and uh, like gender, gender appropriate ones, um, skills like cooking, or if he's, you know, she's, she would have, um, knitting and cross stitching. So she would be able to help the young ladies, um, whereas he would be kind of maxed out on archaeology. Ooh, that is super clipping in. Uh, we also have a, um, we also have a gym. So this is basketball. Um, they, I wanted to do two, but I think they only use one side. So I just used one, figured that we could use the space elsewhere. Uh, here are some little lockers. And then this is just going to be workout equipment because, you know, we godly people are skinny people. Um, 
and fit people. Um, not that they can't be, but you know, there's plenty of people who are nice and watcherly, uh, plenty of Sims who are nice and watcherly that, um, are not thin or fit. So, um, I have a few pre-made also. Ooh, I just have to change the clothes. Yes, absolutely. So I think probably next week is when I will be ready to start placing everything. I actually want to start building out the household. So if you guys want to, then there's about a week you can upload it to that Hundy Fundy hashtag um, and we'll we'll just start popping people in. So I ideally there's going to be Topaz and then Topaz is going to have three other students with him. They have to be males um, and they can be they can be gay. They can be straight. They can be trans. They can be cis. They can be any any mixture. Um, they can be on any path, but they are all th going here because they're thinking that they're going to be in some level of ministry. So that's that's why you would go here versus anywhere else. Um, and their parents just really love the idea that they are they're going to symbol college. Um, oh, a music room. I forgot music room. So let's get started. Let's go into the entrance hall, I think, um, is where we will do our very first, should I do walls up? I think so. This is also very, very dark. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing about the swatch. Um, what is this? The, yes, the body is a temple. They would absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. And we want to make our temple as strong as we possibly can. We'll be strong men in the watcher. We want to be examples to our communities and to our, um, our flocks eventually um, is what we're going to be getting. So this is, let's see, we want to be worthy of that. So if you can't tell somebody to live a right life if you're not eating right. There would be all sorts of stuff um, said for this. I don't know. I don't know if the, the, the like more impressive, like the school areas should have curtains. I might not put any on here. Um, that may be something that I do just in the more residential areas. So let's see. I feel like this needs like an informational table, a little side table action here. And I, guys, I am so excited. I am more excited than I have any right to be that we're going to Simple College. And honestly, I think it'll probably be like an episode and a stream. Um, but my thought is that this will be here for generations. Um, so I'm excited. <coughs> Pardon me. Are you by chance going to look at the restaurant? Yes. Um, the, I absolutely will. Um, actually, why don't we do that first? Ooh, Discovery University is going to be helping us out so much in this pat. I'm sorry, in this build. Um, it's just, it's so good. It's so good for any kind of like school builds or anything like that. But let's, let's take a look at our hashtag. And it's working today. So that's lovely. The gallery is up and working. Hundy Fundy. There is Samarica Table. Aww, I love this. Okay, so there is um, the Samaritan Table is a local restaurant often used by university students for lunch and dinner. That's so awesome. Upstairs is a chess. Uh, upstairs are chess tables, desks, and books about the symbol. The staff is happy to serve all students, although it is a bit weird that the same ones come so often at exactly the same time every week. <laughs> so this would be, aw, <coughs> pardon, I'm so sorry. Throat is dry. Um, so this is going to be like a hangout for them to be able to do each week, um, you know, like a, like a little, like a haunt sort of. This is, let's see, on a 30 by 20. And it looks like it's right next to um, what would be the museum. So let's go ahead and place her. 
the Sheldon. Ooh, look at this. You guys' Sims are so great. And I'm so like floored every time I come in here. I feel like we need to like next stream. We're going to be placing, oh, the Smith household. <laughs> um, the, uh, we're going to be placing not just like college Sims. I think we should also place, um, I'm going to go out and, and place that restaurant. Thank you so, so much, Alley Cat. Um, the, I think we're also going to be placing like here, some fundy households, um, so I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so this is where the blue velvet would normally be. I actually, I absolutely love that it is on this lot because they took over the nightclub and they put in like a good watcher honoring um, place for their students to hang out. <coughs> this is the only off-campus um, establishment that they are really allowed to visit and they have to check in and out is my thought. So let's do, no. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, <coughs> pardon. The ladies would need a crafting room with rocking chairs, knitting, and a crossfit. Yes. Maybe an easel. Um, we certainly could. I don't know where I'm going to put that. But my thought is that they are... No, blue velvet. Um, my thought is that they are... They're there to serve and they can do their stuff kind of um, um, around the boys, around the young men. Maybe we might use that music room as like a crafting room. Um, that absolutely could could work. Pardon me. Whew. So let's open this one. That's what I wanted to do. We're going to get the Samaritan table placed. <coughs> Ooh. Check the stuff upstairs hidden behind the bookshelves. Okay, Topaz is getting himself into some trouble. <laughs> All right, so I want to place this as a gallery. We're good. So let's take a look. <clears throat> I can't, oh, I cannot wait to play this, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay. So this just looks so quaint and it sticks out like in like for like the rest of the um, architecture. And I feel like they would be so proud of that. They would be like, yes, we are intentionally different um, and we want people to ask. I love that this has enough space for routing like they can go here and just have a, a simple American diner experience um, we've got a nice kitchen. We have gendered bathrooms, male and female. Absolutely. Uh, they would not be entertaining anything. They would not be entertaining if there are more than two genders. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's also, yay. I love the wallpaper in here. This looks so great. So there's like study spaces. Oh my gosh, I love that. And like just a chill, look at this. I'll bet that they're like, oh yeah, no. Um, this is for, this is to celebrate the promise that the watcher made never to flood the earth again. I'll bet that's why that's allowed to slide behind the bookcases, huh? So let's see. Oh yeah, this is the area behind the bookcases. So we are, um, I think that, Alley Cat was talking earlier and she was saying that, yeah, yes, Willow Creek became a dry town. Oh, no. Um, so I think that Alley Cat was talking before and said that, like, kids sort of bring in their stuff, that they are have brought stuff over. They've uh, they've all <laughs> they've also got a juice pong table. <laughs> that is certainly not Watcher Fundy approved. Um Oh, I love this. Oh, and it's got the intersex representation. Oh, I love that. Um, so kids have brought in their own stuff and they know how to maneuver things around. And the staff is either supporting it quietly, like they're looking the other way, or they just don't care. <laughs> like <laughs> they're like, whatever. They're 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 the fundy kids. 
They never cause any trouble. I'm not going to sit there and razz them. Like, yeah. Um, I think so. Staff just doesn't check upstairs. That's why they can bring things up there. Yes, absolutely. So this is a really good place to build skills that we need. We've got a nice couch for canoodling. Um, I can't, I can't wait. I do think, thank you so much, Alley Cat, for building this. This looks outstanding. Um, I, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, there's going to be, we're going to have to pretend, but there's going to be sign-ins and sign-outs. Um, young ladies cannot go anywhere unchaperoned. Um, nope, I don't need that. I need to build. Yes. And we need the diaper changing table in the bathrooms. <laughs> we do. Well, these, <coughs> these lady, these ladies would, they would only be allowed to serve a mission if they are not currently married and have no children. So there wouldn't really be a need for diaper changing stuff. Okay. So let's, <clears throat> let's get to business. Let's do this. Um, I want old, I want an old picture up here. Like maybe this could be the founder and his wife. Ooh, maybe this could be like the headmaster, headmaster. Why do I keep saying that? It's the president of the college, <laughs> his wife. Um, maybe it could be them. Oh no, this would be like really, really old because I can't imagine that this college would be super, super old. Um, most Bible colleges aren't, um, they've just been started in the last 50 or 60 years. Um, there was a really big push get together. So I don't know who this is, but this, this person seems important. Um, and as a male, so we, I, I need, I need a backstory. Why does he exist? Why is he so prominent here? Who is this person? Um, and I don't think that we will have the female counterpart up here. Um, maybe in the ladies rooms, um, but not, not here. Let's do a nice little sitting area over this way to sort of like sit and chat. You know, I would imagine that Fundy families come with their sons to tour to see if this would be a good place for them to attend Fundy College and get, um, get their seminary degrees or their ministerial degrees. <clears throat> the dean and his wife. Okay. Yes. Um, he's one of the seekers, one of the saints. Oh, maybe one of the original. Well, not a, how far back are we going? Um, so like, yes, one of the saints headmaster is from Harry Potter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which would be the same thing if you want. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, and headmaster too, I think is that, um, that's really more for like pre-university or pre-college, isn't it? So, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Not that one. There's some from Discovery University that I love. Um, I also really like the stuff from Cats and Dogs. They have this like wingback chair that is gorgeous. I think looks so great. Um, this, as you guys have said, Millie, um, would have been built with very, very cheap labor. I also want to keep our, our color scheme in mind. So, um, they could afford to have sort of nicer things, uh, because they're not paying a workforce. Um, they are benefiting from having, um, all of this free teen child labor. Uh, and so, yeah, they can have like super, super nice stuff. It's been donated to them. The founder of the college who left the land for money for the establishment of a good Watchley College for the men. Yes. Okay. Love it. <clears throat> like I'm sure it's common for Christians to have paintings of major members of, the, yes, Christianity in buildings. Like we could just say it's one of the modern pioneers of fundamentalism. Yes. Okay. So we're going to combine, I think, Jacob and Alley Katz. Um, so the, what is his name? Um, I feel like his name should be like Lord Fuddington or something, something like that. Um, and let's see, I need, what am I trying to do? 
surfaces. That's what I need. Um, and Discover University. I can't believe that Discover University was only four expansion packs apart from Cats and Dogs. Like, that's crazy. Like, to me. Maybe, maybe not to anyone else, but <laughs> it is to me. Um, it feels like it's been so much longer. Um, I don't know if I like that being right up against the window that way. Um, I don't think that that's the one that we need. I don't think that's the one we want. Um, maybe something a little bit more round could like this. I love the textures on these, but they unfortunately don't go with a whole lot else in the game because I need, um, I need more lighting in here. That is definitely for sure, but I've got to get my pictures oriented first. Ah, this one, this is such a solid coffee table. You guys so solid. Um, I love this Alistair land grab. Yes. Bill. No, Phil bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Bothard. Um, oh my gosh. I like that. Um, the third. Phil Bothard the third. Alistair Landgrab the third. Okay, so his name is uh Philip Alistair Bothard the third. Um Ooh, but the land grabs, it's so tempting. The land grabs would totally fund the fundies. Um, if especially it gave them any kind of, um, of financial up, like what if, if one of them is running for like Samaritan president, then they'd be like, yeah, let's just throw some money, some money at these people who absolutely do not mind preaching politics from the pulpit and get them all voting on our side. Um, no, there's not a lot of them, but it's at least a secure base, which is how somebody got into power. Um, the, but we won't go there. That's a little too real, real world. Um, this is happening. Um, so we've got, just in case you were wondering who we do this for, um, it's for Jeebus. Uh, he is, he's instead of the sacrificial lamb, he's a sacrificial llama. So that is their, um, that's their mascot is the llamas. Um, because they're, they're here to play, to praise the sacrificial llama of the watcher. Um, and that's, that's my story. That's what I'm sticking to. Um, the... All right, let's do, let's do some, let's do some lighting. So, cause it is, it's so dark in here. Um, it's because of the wood, the wood tones. And I, I do kind of want that, um, pompous air <laughs> sort of and part of it is because I want this to look incredibly impressive to fundy parents. Um, this is going to look better. We're going to turn move objects on. Uh, move objects. This is going to be incredibly impressive to fundy parents. They are going to aspire to want to send their children here, their boys, um, here to study because this is going to be nicer than most of them can afford at all. Um, the sacrificial llama. Yes. Yes. Um, and let's see. Okay, I want, I want a nice plant over here. Hmm, is that bougie enough? Does this like ooze like money? I want this to also seem very aspirational for them. Like look at where our son can go and get a, um, a university education. Um, if my son goes here, then he'll be able to like subconsciously like thinking that he'll be able to afford to give his family something like this. He'll be able to rub shoulders with rich fundies and, you know, get a, a successful ministry. That is so big. Uh, get a successful ministry going. <coughs> so we're going to be pulling all the strings of manipulation that we know that the fundies would be pulling. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the four rent pack um, for... 
their plants and the patterns. Oh, so pretty. Um, this is cutting in. Uh, nope. Absolutely cutting in. You, what in the world? Oh, it's because I'm not pressing the alt key. Uh, I swear I've played this game before. Yeah. Okay, I think that works. <clears throat> Three boys and new ba <laughs> Oh, hey, how are you, mom life? It is wonderful to see you in. Uh, we're building a Fundy Bible College, Fundy Symbol College in The Sims. Uh, so, all right, we need to put out some informational things for parents to be able to take home. <coughs> we don't really have pamphlets or brochures, so I'm going to be struggling a little. I know that the dine out kit has like a, a menu. So I'm going to be trying to snatch that. Um, that can look very brochure-y. Uh, there are, ooh, these are business cards. Um, we're going to be putting those out. Garnet will stay in the cold. I don't know. Um, Kelsey, that is a really good question, whether Garnet will stay in the cult or leave that you just asked, because I did not roll for that. And I didn't realize it until I was editing. So we will be rolling for Garnet to either stay or leave. It would shock me if Garnet left. I think Garnet probably, f I also have a different interpretation of her than I did while filming. Um, I had said that, well, you know, maybe she's sort of hidden in the background, doesn't want to be seen. But her social is so high. Um, I think that she is probably much more of a bubbly um, sim or like very socially graceful sim. Um, I think that she was probably raised to be this this perfect little girl. Um, and she is exemplifying everything that the fundies are telling their kids that they, they need to be. Um, she probably feels the pressure of being a PK, a preacher's kid, especially being a fundy preacher's kid. Um, I feel like I want to use this more than it fits right here. So we're just going to pause that. Uh, this actually might go up pretty well in our hangout room for the, the guys. So I'll put it there. So I think that Garnet is probably much more socially graceful, knows all the steps, um, but probably feels a lot of pressure to perform um, or to to understand or get the principles that are being taught to her. Um, so she feels a lot of pressure to have the indoctrination work. I think that uh, Topaz may feel some of that too, um, although I think he's going to be really feeling a pull from the watcher to, um, to, to go into ministry. And he feels like he can make a difference. So he's been raised with this attitude that the watcher has a very special purpose for him. Um, and that's, you know, that isn't in itself is not, you know, fundy. That's pretty darn normal, um, within a faith that, Hey, you were intentionally made and, your deity has a specific purpose for you. Um, that could be really great, wonderful, supportive news. Um, but these are the fundies we're talking about. And they um, always, the purpose is to spread the message, point people to their version of the Watcher. I want books here. Um, and recruit more members, essentially. That's their, that is their always um what they think is is going to be everyone's purpose so can any of these look like official maybe i don't think we have a good swatch for this because this could be like little little pamphlets there are hearts here that's awful girly the <laughs> these um, are in the university's color, although this has more to do, well, I guess not. I guess it's not really much to do with Hanukkah because of the reindeer and the Christmas tree, so probably not. I thought this was a dreidel. It, it's not. It's just, um, oh, what do you call it? It's ornaments. Um, 
Is there a second swatch on the Jeebus art? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, there is. It is a this one. So this might actually look a little bit more official. Um, so this is the all seeing eye. I think I forget what it's called in Sims world, but there's, there's like an equivalent. Um, I think this is the sign of the watcher. If you played like the Sims three medieval, maybe it's not the Sims three medieval, but if you played the Sims medieval, this is very close to that. So this is, I'm excited. I'm so excited to have these in game. Um, I think she has anxiety and because of that, she overcompensates. She knows that girls are supposed to be social. So she does it out of power. Yes, absolutely. She could be masking. Um, a lot of us do that. Um, we know what the societal norm is. And so we conform to that. This does not look as cute as I want it to. Uh, so we conform to that. And then the difference is that most of us, like when we go to work, we mask. We know that it's not appropriate to like, throw things and be like, I don't want to do this right now. So we go, nope, that's not okay. And we just smile and get through it. And we, you know, are very nice with customers that's screaming and yelling at us. Um, that's masking. The difference between us is that we have a place where we are socially expected to mask and we do that. And then we go home and we don't have to mask anymore. Not these kids. These kids are always, that is so suggestive. Uh, none of that here. None of that smut here. Um, the, but not these kids. These kids are always masking and that isn't healthy. <laughs> and no one has to be told this, right? Um, you need to have a place where you are just yourself um, and where that's okay. N these kids don't get that. Um, and it, it causes, it doesn't cause, it exacerbates um quirks that then become personality disorders and it is even made worse by the fact that well therapy is for the unfaithful um therapy if you have a um a problem at all it's because you lack faith gold bars should we be <laughs> that that uh explicit with it that like yep we like money that's really our god um Maybe, maybe we'll be a little bit more subtle. I don't know who you are. Uh, you're the headmaster's, the, the original guy's wife. Um, but would he have a bust of you? Maybe, maybe we'll leave that there. It's, it, it looks at least stately. Now, um, rugs. Let's get some rugs up in this place. Uh, we're going to be focusing on reds, grays, whites, and blues. I have to remind myself. Um, uh, I did put it in that one. Excellent. Yes. Uh, it used a, a plumb bob with an eye as the sign of the watcher. I think they'll call it the eye of the watcher or the watcher's eye or something like that. Yes. Um, that brings up Handmaiden's Tale, Jacob, um, like under his eye. I also think that it's funny that they think of me as, um, a male watcher and I'm not, I'm a hundred percent not. So I want to do, oh, I won't filter by that. Um, what are some good rugs? I love the, um, Moonwood Mill, um, the werewolves rug. I think that that is such a solid pack for stuff like this. Um, it looks beautiful. It looks ornate. It's a great sized rug. Um, I'm wondering if I can't build my own though. And uh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to go for the high school years one because there is a swatch with that llama on it. And I think I want to go that away. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. where's the llama? Here's the llama. Gotcha. Oh, it's so... That's so big. Um, can we size you down? We can. Oh, yay. Okay. So, uh, this is the school's mascot. This is the school's crest. Uh, this is their color scheme. All of that. Speaking of handmaid's tale, like I said, if Garnet stays in the cult, uh, then it's 
let's see, it's not, I'm, uh, it's not far from her future, <laughs> right? Like, the, it's, I, I was, I was going through and dressing her and was like, oh, I'll just do like all red because she's garnet. And I was like, mm -mm, no, I won't. <laughs> like, that's not what I want to, that's not what I want to put out there. This is not that kind of challenge. Um, not, not that I'm running on, on YouTube. Um, and what, what are you? Oh, it's candy. That's bright and happy. and doesn't belong here. Um, this, ooh, uh, wait though, wait though. If I size it down, oh, guys, that's kind of perfect. Can this go under the, no? Okay. Well, I don't have anywhere really appropriate for it, but I got to work it in here somewhere. Like, look at that. It's literally an open book. It's a symbol. I don't know where we're putting that, but we're putting it somewhere. Um, oh, I kind of want to put it here. Should we do that instead of the llama? No, that looks weird on the wood. Um, I won't, I won't do that, but I will remember that it is here. Um, the university president and wife should have children. Would they be living at the school also? Ooh, yes, Sherelle, that is a really good question. I think the university, um, president and his wife are, I'm going to make them elders. So their children would be older. And he didn't take the presidency until um, until his children were like moved out. He was probably a symbol professor um, before. I think that's really all that I want to do in here except for some lighting. I'm going to put some lighting in. Um, you know, we don't want to overdress it. Uh, we want to have understated um, riches. You know, the the folks that have money don't don't flash it around, you know. Um, we want to be classy. Um, so I think that they would probably have fundy families. Um, or, you know, at least part of their family is fundy. This is, a, this is so much lighting. Can I get rid of this? Not really very well. Um, hmm. Because I can imagine this making a problem in screenshots. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to be screenshotting everything, but um, I'm also trying... This This is going to be a nightmare to try to get screenshots in anyway, simply because um, of, the, of the wall heights. I do not enjoy tall wall heights at all. Um, this square is going to make it so that I can't really put a seat there. What else could I put there? Most of the sculptures are out because a lot of the sculptures have to do with women or the sculptures are, are too unclothed. So put it outside in front of the door. Oh, 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 you're brilliant. Okay. Um, let's see. I wanted to match it. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Is there another swatch here? Maybe we could do this in white. Shift. Yes. Oh, love it. Um, and let's see. Uh, high school years, that rug. Yep. And Ooh, I love this. That is so cool. Yes, that's exactly what it needs to be. Um, can I grab some flooring from high school years? There's this flooring. Um, is there one with blue? Or even a red swatch wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. That's not terrible. That isn't terrible. Um, this way they know where they're at. Ooh, I also need some outdoor lighting. I can do that off stream though. Um, I have to remember that swatch for future builds. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, so I have done symbol college a couple of times. Um, I actually didn't know if I was going to renovate a build or make my own. And then one of you guys suggested, um, Liberty university. And I was like, Oh, that's kind of perfect. Um, make the floor a lighter Brown. Okay. 
the let's see you mean like inside or do you mean like outside under here um let me know and well so there's this brown that does look nice though mm. I like the the richness of that tone that would really help with some of the lighting too inside yes okay so okay we'll go here it'll break it up a little bit wonderful um you i don't know if we're going to be able to get this all done this stream it would shock me honestly um i am just i'm just that slow at building um some people can just like boom 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 whip it out i cannot <laughs> it takes me time i go back over places you know that kind of thing okay was hoping you'd finish my oh <laughs> i'm sorry jacob um the um we can do that though uh we can we can make other symbol colleges because who knows um, there, there might need to be another symbol college out here. All right. So I'm going to put up a poll for which room we're going on to next. Uh, let's see which room should we move on to next? Um, should we do the a bedroom or dorm should we do a dining hall and kitchen should we do a classroom or should we do the oh no um, the president's office. Mm, actually, let's, or should we do the library? That's not how you spell library. All right. So I'm popping the poll up now. And then, um, I also like the other vampire wood floor. Yes, uh, that vampire wood floor is so, so pretty. Um, vampire is honestly really delivers, in my opinion. That is a gorgeous pack. I do wish that we had some wider variety in swatches. Um, but it's so spot on for what it was going for. The, um, ooh, that's beautifully rich. I love that. Um, it's so Victorian. Like you can just, you can pop yourself in that place. It's, it's so transformative to be able to go there. Let's see. So I've also, I've done the bathrooms off camera. I I don't want to like underappreciate a bathroom. Like we all need them. That's it's great, but it's, they're kind of samey. Um, so I wanted to get those done. Um, the, all right, so it looks like it's split between the bedrooms and dorms or the library. <laughs> so let's see. We can do we'll we can do the library first, maybe, and then uh, we'll pop up and do the dormitories right after. Um, the now, I've just put these in here for reference. These aren't necessarily the bookcases that I'm going to be using. Let's end that poll. Um, these aren't necessarily the bookcases that I'm going to be using. I like them because they're so, like, they're so thin. They don't take up very much of a footprint. Um, and they are very, very easily stackable everywhere. Um, now, if you're not the right... Oh, um, this is also on a diagonal and the Sims hates that when you're building like these things shouldn't be overlapping like this. Um, but the game doesn't know what to do with a diagonal tile, um, and like snap places. So 
Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <sighs> That's just not going to... Hello? I think that, maybe? So I've got this. Definitely got one wall without any windows on it. I struggle making libraries because I love windows everywhere. Um, could there be one... I don't know, man. Like, I love, I think for a library, these ones are beautiful. Um, I really love those. Even though they're a little bit clunkier. Though I think that would be better probably in the president's office. Um, so let's move them over here. So that way I just know. Um, there's this one from Get to Work. That wouldn't be bad. We could also do the new ones from, let's see. Ooh, there's a get together one that's really pretty. Um, the new ones from the new pack, the Crystal Creations pack. Yes, although that's not as rich a tone as I want. That This is actually not a bad swatch, but um, I actually think I really like that swatch. Um, and no, I don't want that. Uh, we could all, ooh, I wonder if I like the white wood or the light wood in this just to break up the brown a little bit. I think so. I think I'll do that. Um, and is this the last one? I also really love the Realm of Magic bookshelves. They are by far my favorite. In, I think I'm going to go and do Realm of Magic um, bookshelves. I love all the colors in the books. I love like this detailing here. I think that they're just gorgeous. Um, get the one with the ladder. Yes. Um, so if we were going to be doing that one. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe we could do a couple of different ones. Maybe I could do, just pop them over here, you know. Um, the dihecanal makes this really tough uh, to do. Yeah, okay. So let's put you, oh, there's a window here. Oops. Um, pop you in here. So, how have you guys' first weekends of... Oh, the diagonal curse. All right. I don't like this at all. Um, that is seriously glitching out. Um, I also... How have you guys' first weekends of spring going? First weeks of spring? How is the weather where you are? Apparently, we're in a winter storm warning. So, that's fun. Um, it's been pretty much non-winter all season. And then it decided to show up with the fiery vengeance. I'm hating the spacing here. Mm. We're going to have to fix that. I don't know if I can. Um, uh, okay. I'm going to filter by Realm of Magic. Would these ones work a little bit better? These have definite potions on them. Um, oh my God, a little crystal. Um, yeah, these have potions on them. I don't quite like that as much. Um, <sighs> this is just going to be a pain in the butt. Um, all right. Well, I love you very much, but you don't behave very well on diagonals. So instead, we're going for our crystal creations. Lovely. Um, I'm going to slap these up in this swatch. Dude, really? Okay. 
there's just going to need to be a reason for a gap here. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do it that way. And I don't know what that reason will be. Maybe we'll put in a column, like just, a, <laughs> just a stray column, uh, somewhere. It was 90 the other day. Oh Lord, you, you're in Texas, right? So that is, that's so warm. That is so warm. Um, you, maybe I can make like little aisles. Oh, I can. I think I can make little aisles. This is going to be a nightmare to film in, but that's okay. That is a okay. Um, yes. Okay. Like it. I like it very much. Put you here. Put you here. Yeah, this entire year has been the winter that wasn't in Minnesota. The stone bust could work in the... It could. Um, there could be a stone bust that would work in this slot. Um, okay, perfect. This is slim enough that... Um, oh, it's overlapping and so ugly. Um, we can do a nice stone bust... It has to be of a man because women are too salacious. Um, we don't want our young men to stumble. Um, and plus we don't want to see like this is a manly men's place. OK, um, we're going to tell ourselves all sorts of boohoos about how hard it is um, to be a, a red blooded Samaritan man in this in this economy, um, in this political landscape. Um, and how we always get the short end of the stick and all that. Um, what is, now I'm going to need to fill this in a little bit more, um, because these are very, very blank college. Well, it is a funny college. I was going to say these are very blank shelves for being in a university. Um, but it's funny college. So there's not, come on, like what resources do we really have? Um, we just need the Bible. That's all we need. Um, I'm surprised one of the Joseph kids are going to college with their parents' permission. I know, right? Um, let's see. It's, it's really a miracle. Um, but with Topaz, if he's telling his dad that, hey, I feel called to, um, ministry in the Watcher and, James is at least aware of these, um, these fundy alternatives. Um, no, it's not something that it's actually a really interesting evolution because at first IBLP was dead set against any higher education of any kind. Ooh, you can pray to this. This is tempting to put out just because of the interaction that you can do? What if they had to like leave offerings to the watcher? Um, well, listen, we'll do, we'll just set you here for now. Um, yeah, we'll set you out here for now. Let's go back in. Um, but I don't know why it changed, but it did that you know, your children can go to higher education, particularly your men, um, so long as they're doing something watcher honoring. And oh, by the way, you should always be picking um, watcher honoring schools. I will bet it has a lot to do with who lined the IBLP founders pockets to say so. Um, if he was, if there was enough benefit to him, all of a sudden doctrine would just begin to change or bend a little bit. Um, so as with most cult leaders, um, their, their whims or their convictions are based on what their, what their needs are. So, all right. Lovely bust. Um, yes. Okay. 
good deal. We can put that here. It looks a little squished, <laughs> but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let her, we'll let her ride. Um, oh, the, the hat is different. Oh, well, that's cool. He is almost the same width. Um, so he has quite a lot of sideburns, but it's okay because for the time that was acceptable. That was very gentlemanly. Uh, clean cut. Ooh, should we go blue? I just, I want it to be a different shade. I want the bookshelves to be a different shade than the bust because <laughs> it's looking like very, um, like sandy in here. And that to me is distracting. I don't want white either. Maybe these, maybe these wouldn't be a bad swatch. It's so brown though. I could go blue. Um, no. All right. We'll, we'll do this. I'll see. I'll see if I like it. This could change. Um, get a nice, rich, rich brown in here. And then we're going to put in um, some little desks over here. We need a... We need a spot to build our logic skill quietly, you know. Um, I do think either a women's wing or a satellite college would be good because Liberty and others admit women uh, to, and many do go for different degrees or to find husbands. Yeah, I wonder what, um, what degrees they would go in. It would depend on, um, like in, in our challenge... Or at least for Topaz, maybe it's sort of young in their community's um, dabblings in it. But um, women women are there for like secretarial staff or they're there to support. I would imagine that the, the um, oh, who's his face? The president's, is, the president's wife uh, does most of the admissions paperwork and handles all of like the filings for grades and grants and, and things like that. And the girls are there really to support her and to take care of things like the housekeeping and the, and the wash uh, so that she's freed up to do stuff like that. Um, and let's see, I want comfort and I want something comfy to sit in whilst we, uh, whilst we up our logic skill. Um, so I think that right now this is where it's starting. And I think that that's the evolution, at least of one of the colleges, I believe Bob Jones university. Why, why is this not snapping? It should. Oh, because it's the wrong way. Um, Bob Jones university had a similar arc. Um, at first, no women were permitted to go to Bob Jones University. It is an old fundy college, um, I think established in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken, um, even older, maybe. Um, but they were not allowed to attend at all. And then all of a the sudden they were allowed to, um, they were hired on as like clerical staff. And then now they can attend um, and get degrees just like anyone else there is a ton of restrictions put on the young ladies that do go and pursue degrees um but because they they don't want to be spiritual stumbling blocks while they're there um interesting that men are never spiritual stumbling blocks only women um but yeah so maybe maybe this is younger um but for our series right now it's just going to be topaz and then who knows, maybe in a generation or two, they will have a women's symbol college. Um, in fact, if you guys can see, this is normally where the Spencer Kim Lewis household lives, um, but it's vacant right now. Um, it could be that this university, and I'm still not sure what to name it, other than just Fundy Symbol College, um, is looking to build a women's division. Um, and we'll see. I wonder what degrees they would go get. 
Well, secretarial administration work, childhood education, nursing, yay, and dietary degrees, yes. Um, so I think that we definitely could do that. Oh, this is perfect. Hey, excuse me. Thank you. Um, you know, we want we want Jeebus to bless us while we are uh, learning our logic skill. Because if Jeebus doesn't teach us, our, our professors certainly won't. Um, the professor is also going to be pulling double duty just because of the household limitations um, or household size limitations because I don't do MC Command Center. Um, that that absolutely scares me um, to mess with it. But um, the... So he's also going to be their professor. <laughs> the one professor. There's only going to be one class a day. Um, and that's, that's, that's what we're doing. That's what Aaron can manage. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Um, Ooh, you know what? You need a light above here. Ooh, please don't tell me that's too wide. It's almost, but not quite. So good deal. Um, we need a little desk and services. We need desks. Let's just do the by room. I was thinking of, oh, uh, let's see. Nice idea. Yay. I was thinking of all those things, Jacob, classes that are traditionally seen as feminine. Yes. Um, so I do think, I think there's a degree that one of, that at least one uh, Bible colleges offer, um, for something like early childhood education, but specifically regarding homeschooling, um, that you would be, you would be taught. So women could probably pursue that, um, or Christian education, I think is what it's called. So oh, which desk do I want to do? This is a nice one. Why not? We'll do one little desk here. Can I get a light? Like one of the little green lights. I don't remember which pack that came with, but I love the little green uh, secretary light. Um, where did you go? I know it's in here. This is my problem. Like I see something, I know I want something, but then I can't ever remember where in the catalog it is. Um, and, and then I lose steam and I'm like, yeah, it probably wasn't that important anyway. Um, oh, there it is. Yes, the artisan. Now, I don't know whether I should put a research and debate We because we have a computer lab. No, this is just for scripts, um, manuscripts, things like this. So we will, we'll keep it this way. I also want some armchairs at the ends of these little bookshelves. Maybe something, something nice and comfy to sit in to encourage you to stay a while. Um... There are only four real students, six if you count the girls, but that's it. Um, me making a daughter for James and Beth so she could be a handmaid for, uh, in, ooh, and Eric is from the Blessed Cult. Oh, um, that's what I was thinking, Queen Lee. It'll make it acceptable way to meet future spouses and pretend that they met that way. <laughs> yes. Um. So, I mean, honestly, Kelsey, if that's, if that's the way that you want to take your challenge, then I think it's just about perfect. Um, so with, there's so many ways to play this challenge too, depending on what sect of, um, or, or which cult you're going for. So it's, I have much more, um, experience, um, with Christian fundamentalism or Christian fundamentalist, like adjacent kind of things than I do with anything else. I wish that I had, like I, I've read about others, but I'm uncomfortable like taking a critical or negative stance and playing from what I feel like would be a more intimate place. Whoa, is this not, <gasps> they're not aligned. Oh, that's going to bug me. Well, this absolutely can't move. And you. Well, that makes me sad. Um, 
yeah, that's in line. Okay, got it. Um, so like, um, the LDS, um, or polygamous Mormons, the, um, many Mormon members will call polygamists a cult. Um, there are ex-members of Mormonism that call Mormonism a cult. There are active members that would say that's absolutely bananas. It is not a cult. It's done really great things. Um, so uh, I, I wish that I could do every generation a different, um, extreme version of every faith, but I am very aware that if you don't do it from a position of more intimate knowledge, then it can just be poking fun at someone and like kicking them while they're down. Um, and I don't want to like hurt ex members by something stupid. I say, um, kind of like a finishing school. Yes. Um, finishing school for young women would be a great way to look at this. Okay. I think I'll do it like this. Um, I'll put a little armchairs here and a little coffee table. Um, because everybody needs a coffee table, uh, in my opinion. So there is, I don't want those other little armchairs though. Um, okay, let's do this. I like pulling from similar packs. So we'll go for discovery university. Where'd you go? Um, we'll do, I want to do Realm of Magic too. Um, Realm of Magic is a good one and, but I don't like that. That does not look very comfortable to me. And the Discovery University couch is so big. Um, Most of the time I have these like grand ideas about what it's going to look like. And then I'm like, yeah, but I don't like that swatch or the couch that came with that is so, so big. What am I going to do? And then I just sort of end up with a compromise <laughs> at the end. Ooh, 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 idea, idea. We're going to see if this pans out, if this is able to be worked with. Is that going to be tight? I think that might be really tight. Um... It would be nice to see the window while you're doing that. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna have space for a coffee table. That's not gonna happen. We could do a side table maybe. Um, yeah, I'm picturing them walking around with books in their head, books on their head. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> that would be amazing. Why are we doing this? How is this honor honor blah, watcher honoring? And the president's wife would totally be, um, would totally be about that life. Oh, this is kind of cute. Oh, I like it. Okay, uh, let's get a a lamp and. I want the Discover University one, or there's a beautiful one, this one, um, from the For Rent pack. I love this, these patterns. Um, I'm wondering if that's too nice though, for like a common area. Um, there's this one, no. Um, Discover University. It's also very yellow in here. The, what would you name the daughter? I was thinking her pre-handmade name would be Alexandrite. Oh, yeah. That would be really pretty, Kelsey. Um, and let's see. We've got... Ooh. That's, that's cute, but not practical. I'm not having open flames in uh, a place with literal books. I say that, but look at how cool that is. Um... We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. A uh, nice red for the university's colors. We need a rug. We need a beautiful rug uh, to go right under here, making us feel cozy and warm. We want to spend a lot of place learning the very um, combed through and edited versions 
of truth in these books. Um, we need to learn it well. Um, let's see. Is there a nice red one? Nice red swatch. And then we'll get up to the dorms. Ooh, that is super clashy. Um, is there going to be a secret room with mostly watcherly upper... Wait. With the most watcherly upperclassmen? Is there going to be a secret room for the most watcherly upper... <laughs> you know what? That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted kind of the the tower to be is like some secret something or other. Um, and then, you know, we're, we're just observing the heavens, right? Um, and then there's a place to get in trouble if you want to, like <laughs> a place to be tempted. Um, do as I say, not as I do. I really think that the president and his wife only have like three kids despite being fundy. And when Topaz asks why that is, he's just dismissive. That's not, uh, what the watcher called me to do. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Like Bill Gothard. How, how, how did you get away with having no wife, no children? Um, he never called himself a prophet and that was on purpose. Um, but he certainly let others do it. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, so I think that would be very in keeping with, with the faith. Oh, I like this room, you guys. Um, so we're going to do red. What's a nice red? Oh, we might do blue though. Um, nice red rug. Is that too big? I feel like this is too big. Uh, it doesn't sit very well in here either. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like it. Needs to be smaller. And, ooh, uh, this has red and blue in it. This is such yellow lighting. I hate it. I hate the yellow lighting. Um, I want to get it more like neutral lighting. But yeah, okay, I'm happy with this. I am super happy with this. Um, we're going to leave the windows open. Um, what goes here? I need something else that goes here. Um, not another bookcase um, because of the, the lighting. Um, something. Ooh, you know what? Um, let's do... Oh, I was going to say flower arranging. Like there's, um, there's a little bonsai plant that they can shape. Um, maybe this could be something for the girls. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't trust the guys to stay off of it is my worry. Um, I feel like the guys will, will go in and get some flower arranging skills. Um, and not that I'm opposed to that, but I know that the fundies are, um, it's not outdoor. And I don't want an easel either. Um, hmm. See, like that would be such a good spot for it and it would be ornamental. Maybe one of the girls would have to come in and do this every day. Um, oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that idea a lot. Or, um, you know what? There is no in this place. <clears throat> I haven't put in <clears throat> one of these. Well, that's definitely going in <clears throat> our music, like creativity room. Um, This is uh, one of the older copies of the symbol. This is where... <coughs> I'm so sorry. This is where it is talking um, about how 
Um, women are like flowers, rose petals, um, gems, things like that. Um, not really, but in, you know, in their doctrine, it makes sense. And all right. So for now, for now, I think I'm okay with that. I still do want something above here. There's one. Okay. Maybe dot show hidden objects. There is a painting. I believe it's base game, but you unlock it when you've reached a certain level of the writing career. And I think it would just be so perfect for in here. Um, it may not be. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, you, I want to switch you. You're, uh, you're here. And you're here. Ooh, uh, so pretty. Yes, okay. This is something the girl stitched. Um, and where's... Hmm, I can't find that painting. Oh, well. Um... That's all right. Um, so, all right. I want to say that we are done. We are done with this room. Lovely. Library is checked off. I feel like you could play Clue in this mansion. <laughs> I absolutely do. Um, next is the dormitories. I think that was our other option that we wanted to see. Um, let's see. So do we do... Let's see... Which room do we start? Ah. On next. Girls dorm. Boys dorm. Or Presidents, ooh. Sweet. All right. Just Topaz did it in the library with the, <laughs> with the symbol. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, maybe, who knows, maybe they'll play the who got tempted clue. Um, oh man. Oh, we need, I need such better lighting everywhere. Um, girls dorm or president suite is tying right now. So let's see. Let's do the girls dorm. I picked yellow. It's a long room. It's like really weirdly shaped. I pick. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're we're in exactly thirds for everything. <laughs> um, so it's a long room. I picked yellow as a color. Allie, does uh, Corinne have a favorite color? Well, I guess. Okay, this wouldn't be made over specifically for Corinne. That's not a fair question because like it's a it's an institution outside of who's staying there. Um, the boys dorm. Okay. Um, but I, I do, I wonder if Corinne has a favorite color because Corinne would be allowed or one of, one of the young ladies, um, that is supporting would be allowed to, um, Ooh, girls dorm and boys dorm is switched or is, is, um, is tied right now. Um, the young ladies would be allowed to bring personal effects. And I wonder what they would bring. Like, let's see. So, all right, we're going to get, we're going to get this in. There's not going to be a whole lot of personalization of, hello, of this. This is not centered. Um, <clears throat> of these rooms, they are going to be like for the boys, they're going to be pretty basic, like a way to get dressed. Um, ooh, I don't like that right up above, right up against the, um, 
the windows. Um, maybe. Huh. I don't know how to orient this. Um, so that it isn't. So that it, like, it makes sense. Um, maybe like that. But would you want your bed, like, right in front of the door? I wouldn't. I would not want my bed right in front of the door. Um, can I move the door anywhere that it makes? It, I can't. Not really. Um, or I could just, nope, nope, don't like that either. Um, that could work. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Um, if you want to add some things for her, she likes pastels, light green specifically, but her parents think green is a masculine color. So maybe more pinks and greens. Yes. Okay. So we've got this one, maybe greens and pink then. Yeah. Um, some greens and pinks. I don't know. Well, that's a conundrum that I, I'll solve here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the young lady's room. I think I will put in two, uh, two little beds <clears throat> and they can, we can decide here. Um, I think pinks are a good idea. Um, just because the fundies like, the, oh, I, I don't like the way that I've done this. Um, those windows really make a tough placement, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, we shall persevere. I think pinks are going to be the way that we go. That these are young ladies rooms. So they would be expected, um, to be incredibly f feminine. Um, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I think I like the pastels. Um, rather than the bat motif, ooh, there's, oh, look at that. <clears throat> that is beautiful. There are bats here, but we're going to pretend like they're just birds. Um, I mean, Leaf to, used to wear bright greens when he was plum bite. Then again, he's, that's true. And, you know, I think green, I think a lot of us regard green as a unisex color, but yeah, the fundies have proven before, like, just because the rest of the world thinks so <laughs> does not mean that they support that belief. So they'll have their own little feelings about things. A lot of what they will do and believe is to be specifically different um, or that they will have this kind of slippery slope argument that, well, if you do this one thing, then it'll lead to doing or thinking something about this other thing. And then that might lead you to, to sin or because we know it was an issue for this one person, we're going to generalize and think that it's a, an issue for all people. Um, and so therefore preferences and things for one person, namely a leader, um, are going to have to be taken on by all members of the group. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, there's the vintage glamour ones. Um, they're not tall enough. Bummer. Okay. Um, hmm. I think the girls dorm being a little awkward makes sense. Girls would be an afterthought. Yeah, they would have had to make spades. I wonder if this would have been like, you know, in here could have been like a bigger room, but they had to be like, well, I guess we need someone to help us run the place. This is so bougie. I don't want that. Um, let's see. This is too short. See, nothing good happens when you play on medium and tall wall height. Um, for the outside aesthetics of the build, it's absolutely the right decision. For actually having to play through this, it's it's kind of it's kind of the worst. Um, hey, whoa, here, Lux pack to the rescue. Um, here, 
and we'll do like some white I think with a little bit of a rose gold lovely let's get some side tables in here we are also going to be getting some lighting in here as well um, they're gonna be doing a lot of like side table moments um, like side table lamps in order to light everything so let's see we also need a mirror because we need to be able to look our best present our most watcherly face forward um, really make sure that our countenance is the thing attracting attention so for those that don't know your countenance is essentially your face or like face energy i guess is the best way to um to describe it so you want people focused on your countenance which is really just a fundy way of saying that you don't want people looking at your boobs um or anything anything even close to that um so you can wear like scarves you know i know that one college has a rule i think it's liberty actually that you can't wear any shirt as a female that is lower than four finger widths so from your collarbone so like mine is right here it'd be one two three four my question is who's going to be measuring because if i say no then you have to put your hand on my chest to do that and something tells me that in fundy college that's not going to happen <laughs> like in bible college uh that that's not going to happen so um Let's see. I want Where's the high school years one? I I'm, I'm going right over it. I know I am. So thank goodness for filters. There it is. Um and again, they are really picking things on purpose that are hearkening back from times of old because fundies trust older things. They just do. Um, if, if it was good enough for grandma and grandpa, good enough for them, why did it have to change? All, all of those sentiments, right? Um, let's put two of these in here, actually. Hmm... One for each girl. Um, ooh, actually, instead, let's put these up here. So they've got nice, beautiful little wardrobes. Everything matches. It's great. And then here I would like there to be a vanity. Um, let's see. I want mirrors. Lovely, wonderful, just one vanity. We don't need more than one. Um, the girls can share. I do like the idea that they would be sharing rooms, both the boys and the girls, because the fundies really preach against the privacy. So their preachings is that as children, your children would only want privacy to do something sinful with it. Um, and like wanting privacy is akin to hiding something. So it would be very suspicious of you to want your own room. You would be demonized for that. Um, you would, there would be a ton of suspicion thrown your way. And the fundies think of going anywhere. Like if they are sharing some space with a same sex, um, with a same sex buddy, then they are trusting that their kids aren't getting in trouble. Um, so they they really love the accountability buddy methods. <laughs> Absolutely. The buddy system. Exactly. So you have someone all the time. The idea is to vouch for your behavior, your motives, your um, your compliance. Um, so if someone is always watching, you're always doing what they say, then, you know, there's nothing to whistle blow on. And they definitely, definitely encourage whistleblowing. Absolutely. Because the watcher already knows. So who do you think you're hiding um, from him? Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That did not give the payoff for light that I wanted it to. Um, 
what are some really pretty lamps, nice effeminate lamps? <laughs> I've never asked that question of a lamp before. What screams woman? Um, but they would, they absolutely would. Um, okay, that I don't hate. And ooh, this is pretty too. It's really, really pretty. Um, Hmm. Isn't there something from this kit, from the, um, oh, what do you call it? The vintage glamour kit that works as a, yes, that works as a light. And it also has like, oh, I don't like the tone on that. Um, but it's also got like stuff for your face, you know, um, like creams and makeups and, and things of that nature. Uh, we could put that here. And what about... Something like this. Oh, that's really pretty. There's a lot of mirrors around. Um, we don't want prideful hearts, but again, we need to we need to make sure that from all angles, we are good. Like nobody can like have sinful thoughts about us. Um, and red, there you go. We'll put this little, little thing here. Wonderful. And is that going to make a problem? It's not, it will not make a problem with the door. We're good. Um, I think it's about all we have space for in here. I don't like the pink on pink. I've uh, just decided that I absolutely do not like that. Um, and... It's giving me Grandma Core vibes. <laughs> yes. So if we can at once infantilize our children or our, our young ladies, so uh, make them seem as young and baby-like as we possibly can and also granify them, then we can remove all desire um, that they would that they would have. Um, so I don't know how that works because essentially what they do is they they fetishize this um but they think it works so you know more power to them i guess and where is the little these ones yes um can we put that right above here yes okay let's get ya How high is this? All the way across. Okay, so it does work. Okay. This seems very, very bare to me. Um, but I, I think that there's just really nothing for it. This is an oddly shaped room and I don't want to put anything there. Um, we're going to get I'm going to switch this wallpaper. I can't, I can't look at it. Um, it's, it's too patterned. It's not the right shade of pink. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna get that out. This has too much going on with it. Ooh, what about this? Yes. Uh, that's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot actually. And we can keep the dark. Yes. Okay. It looks to me a little bit like a dressing room. Like maybe that's what this was. And they just sort of finished it off. Um, can you... That's a little bit kinder on the eyes. They have their own bathroom. And in order... Like they are right near... Like the staff essentially is right near where the cooking would be happening, the serving of the meals would be happening. And because this is the only room on this wing of the house or on this ring of the university that the boys would be, and this is where the girls are kept, they are they have to go right in this corridor where the president and his wife are sleeping. Uh, so the idea is that they're sort of protecting the girl's virtue. Um, the pink, green, and white are my 
bedroom colors. Oh, I made that choice in my 30s. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think there was um, purple, green, and white, like lilacs, um, I think are so beautiful. Like I used to have, or my mom used to have a bedspread with, it was a white background, and then there were these little lilacs. Um, it was so gorgeous uh, to be able to see. Where? Hmm. No, that's too dark. I don't want that. Um, I need... I'm not ready to go into the dining room yet. Let's do, let's do the boys dorm now. Um, or, okay, is it worth saying that instead of two dormitory rooms, we have one and all four of the gentlemen share a room? I'm wondering if we could go that way because if we could, and that would help solve some of the weirdness that I've set up here. Uh, Grandpa core is the aesthetic <laughs> I aspire to, but thrifting is terrible here. Oh, <laughs> you know what? We've got some great thrift stores here. Um, some absolutely outstanding. Yes, I agree. Share one room. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Um, so, no, that's not what I want to do. Go back, please. Um, all right, one room for the males. Um, and then we can get rid of one of these doors. We could probably center this one. Hmm, maybe it could be like over here, over yonder, you know. Um, have enough space in between for a bed tape. Oh, then look what I did. Um, we'll do it this way. Move the door here because that works for me, um, and no other reason. And maybe put one here. I could do double doors, absolutely. Um, do do do. I know I've got double doors here somewhere. Yes, going into the dining room. I also need to change this flooring. It's very samey for wood tones everywhere. Um, double doors, lovely. Um, let's do the vampire swatch. Shift that, shift that. And get you. Oh, that's right. I went with the paranormal ones um, up here. Just for, you know, something different. I thought maybe it wasn't as expensive. Um, but it still looked nice. So it still looked, you know, fairly impressive. And in the president suite... And in the boys' dorms and the girls' dorms were just, you know, we're just some slats, some nice slats. We're cost-saving where we can. Um, now, what goes here? What goes, what goes along here? We can do... I kind of wanted to do desks, but there's going to be so many places to do their homework. They really don't need it. Um, they would probably need some closets and I kind of want to do like an open one so just to drive home the you have no privacy thing uh there's this that could be kind of nice that could be an option or where is ooh that's kind of cool it doesn't look old timey enough. And I really do want to go for that. Like, um, 
But then there's this. And that looks like it could have some uniforms in it for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're going to have uniforms too. <laughs> like, oh, uh, this is, it's going to be a whole vibe. It's going to be a whole thing. Um, you can tell that they're, these guys are kind of like Harvard wannabes. Um, they could never, but li, li, what, what is this college's name? <laughs> Other than just Fundy Symbol College. Um, is that... Yeah, let's do that. Um, I also need this kind of stuff. Now, what should go in here? What is a good... Wait. Should we move the foos table, foosball table in here? I think that's a possibility. Um, and we'll see. Uh, what, what should go in this spot, I think? Um... I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a think on it. Maybe there could be a couple of desks. Oh, I don't know. Um, what is a good, oh, this isn't bad if it came in a taller, it does come in a taller swatch. Oh, oh, I think I've solved the curtain issue upstairs. Would that be better? But those look so feminine. I'm, I'm going to leave those. Um, you can go in here too. Um, hmm. Seeker University. Oh, I love that. No playrooms, chairs. Okay. We want chairs, huh? Um, what about Bill W. Gothard? <laughs> you, you know what? We could do, oh, what did we say? His name is Phil Alistair, um, Phil Alistair Bothard. F F Pab? I don't like that. Um, Philip Alistair Bothard. Uh, Mr. Bothard left money. Maybe our, our Mr. Bothard is not the founder of IBLP. Or the fundies, um, but he is the founder of this university, and we could we could call it um, Phil Bothard University. I don't know if I should call it university or college because I think there are differences in what you can call something. Um, so we're gonna do let's do some chairs. Um, yes, that's what I was doing. Chairs for getting ready. Um, <laughs> Which ones? I want like a little couch that'll go uh, forward and back. Maybe we could do like a coffee table moment. Possibly. No, I don't want that one. We want nice ones because, you know, we can. Oh, these aren't bad. You need to move over one. And you need to, whoa, move over this way. Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, no, yes, no playing in the room. I feel like very strict sleeping quarters must be for sleep. Only and prayer, of course. Yes. Oh, you know what? Um, there are actually rules like that in different fundy universities that like if there is any noise in your room um, at all, if it can be um, heard without, you actually get fined or you get pulled and talked to. Uh, it's it's just just bothered college would work. Yes. Um, OK, the Watcher Tower. Ooh. OK, so this is bothered university. And this is um, Watcher Tower. Um, it is their little chapel. Um, it also kind of serves as their sort of history museum. And kind of like the Freedom Tower does for, um, for Liberty University. Whoa, we're not down here. We're up here. Um, okay, so just, just for the kids. There is also, there's no TV. Um, there is computers, but 
again, very controlled um, access to those computers. You need to move this way to be centered with the room. Um, I need you to go that way and you can go over here. Um, you're gonna have to come out from the wall. And this is very, very blue. Ooh, I don't like that at all, actually. Um, it's very blue, but I wanna get the red in as well. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that quite yet. Um, but I want to, let's see. Can you? That's the tall ones. Okay, so they stop at the headrest. The chairs are perfect, so they put on shoes in the morning, take them. Oh, yes! Do you think Alexandra should wear makeup? Um, that really depends on your fundy rules. Um, each fundy group has a different feeling about makeup. Um, some of them are like absolutely yes we want we want our women to be pretty to look at essentially um so anything that helps us with that is perfect we're gonna get some mirrors in here for these young men um i want to do the discover university mirrors so that they can i think only those ones build research and debate of the mirrors if i'm not mistaken um so Discover University, yes. We want these guys. All right, so that way we've got a couple for them to use. All right, okay, I like that. Let's get in some side tables and we'll put in a couple of books or like a book or something on them. And yes, so basically, if you or I were to go to Symbol College, we would feel very restricted. And there are, I think, quite a lot of kids that do, and they are unpleasantly surprised. Oh no, there's only space for three. Um, oops. Somebody is not getting or having to share. Um, so there's a lot of kids that go to like a Bible college and they're going because whatever degree they want is there. Um, and, you know, maybe it makes their family happy. But they don't internalize some of this stuff. And they feel very restricted going. But Fundy Kids would not. Um, Fundy Kids would be like, of course I'm surveilled and acting, you know, the assumption is that I wouldn't do uh, the really restrictive things that I am asked. Um, and I would have to prove it. Of course I am not trusted from the onset. Um, so this isn't going to be super different for Topaz. Um, Topaz hasn't really had to share a room just because of birth order. So it might be a little bit of a shocker for him in that way, but that's really the only way that I can see him having a trouble, having a problem. Symbol in the end table. <laughs> it's a Gideon one. Um, the any mirrors can do research and debate. Okay, okay. Just like practice speech does charisma. Okay, great. Um, good, because these are short. These are very, very short, and I don't like them. Um, I'll use them if I have to. And I like that they sit on the floor, but I think that they're really, really short. I think it's important that we have options like that because those mirrors do exist in real life. But like it's for aesthetic reasons. I just don't want to, um, to use that one. So... Ooh, or do we do this? And, um, you know what, you guys, I have to place a bookshelf, I think. Um, but we, <laughs> I can actually place the symbol, um, on here. Let's get some lighting first. Decorations. I want lighting. Um, and we want bedside lighting and... So there's this one that I can do. 
And it's just, you know, it's small. These belong to the university. So the university did all of this. Could we do that one instead? I think so. I don't think that's a bad choice. Um, yeah, so these belong to the university. So they're going to be a lot of the same options. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can place a holy symbol. I want to do... I misspelled it. That's my fault. Symbol. And content. I want custom content. Hmm. Why is this not showing? I know it should. Let's see. Symbol. Aha! Holy symbol. There you are. So they're each going to get a holy symbol. I feel like I should put it in the girls' room too. Um, they, they also need a holy symbol um, to help purge them of any impure thoughts that they may be having away from their parents. Um, we don't, you know, we don't condone that kind of stuff. Um, this is really the only book you need to be reading. Um, it is required to... Uh, as a resource in every single solitary one of your papers that you're going to be writing. So get used to it. Um, so they each have a little symbol. This is great. Um, wait, someone's going to need... Oh, it can't be cloned. Um, somebody is going to need... Two. Uh, there we go. Sounds good to me. Um, all right, so they'll bring the rest of their stuff. Yes, I like that. All right. Should I also put little shoe racks? Oh, no, I need, I need to redo the symbol with a better, you know what? I love this cover, to be honest. I really love this cover. Um, it looks exactly like I would expect it to. I mean, you do, you do whatever makes you happy because you've spit out some really great stuff, but there's no complaints from me. Um, and we need a mirror. I need better mirrors, I guess. Uh, decorations, mirrors, maybe one of these, you know, that wouldn't be bad. Something nice and semi-masculine. Okay, so that's great. What do we put up here? Um, isn't there like stuff from Get Together? These. Um, look. <laughs> Little books. Um. Or little, uh, little symbols. Don't need a shoe rack. The wardrobe has them already. Okay, great. Um, the, yeah, for aesthetic purposes, I wonder if we should do shoe. Oh, yes, you're right. The, the little shoes already have them. Okay, well, happy day. Um, let's put up some, let's put up some of these first before I place um, just before I place any, anything else, um, that's not center. That's more centered, I guess. Okay. So that's a little better lit. I do like that. And let's see what we have. I want to have like, um, ooh, we could do military love. 
<laughs> they would definitely have mention of military institutions. There would be a lot of like um, watcher funding nationalism um, that would be preached. So I want to make sure that we're doing, we've got some mention of that at least. Um, and that's really cute, but I don't know why we would have that here. Um, we could do Discover University stuff as well. Um, let's see. There we go. Is there a fire exit type of map? Oh, and bulletin boards anywhere. They'd probably have those in different places. Um, I, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's see what we can find. Um, I'm going to just hang up some, some like paraphernalia. Uh, let's see this one. Cause like, you know, we're, we're into the fundy logic. Let's, let's do this. Okay, great. Wonderful. Um, oh, um, I think exit. What is that? There's a path obstacles exit. Um, I don't know what I just searched, but I can't find it. I think there hasty retreat exit sign. Where is that? Oh, we didn't start the fire sign. <laughs> okay. Um, that's really cute. Uh, we're going to pop you in here for right now. Just just to, to have up. Um, so this could be like a foosball kind of thing. I don't hate that here. But I think it's going to be a little bit tight. Um, and the boys would be... I don't know, like it's right next to where the boys sleep. So maybe that wouldn't be the best, but who knows? Um, we have. All right, let's go on to the president's bedroom first. They are right off of the kitchen, that sort of kitchen area. So I feel like there would be like, you know, just a little. Um, you are the knight for the watcher. Maybe we need to find a bishop. Um, a bishop. We need to find a bishop CC stuff for the gallery. Aww. Um, for the university. So with... I essentially just decided to have like a little table here. Um, if they wanted to grab something from the kitchen, it would be fairly easy. They could bring it in and have some maybe tea or something. Um you know, discuss, discuss things, how the university's going, how, I don't know, their marriage is going. Um, who, who knows, who knows what the uh, president of a university talks about with their spouse? Um, no, 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 no. Um, and, you know, when we're going to go see the children and the grandchildren, um, possibly along those lines, uh, do, do, do. This is, is this higher than everyone else? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, put stuff like this up. I want, I need more lighting. Pop this up here. We're going to have lighting maybe above the bed. Put some up here just to brighten up the place a little. We'll also have bedside tables. So that's great. Um, maybe. As we did in. Oh, wrong way. Um, as we did 
the portrait of um the university like the guy that donated the university the land for the university and a bunch of money down there we can have his wife up here uh to remind the woman that this is her area to keep clean um the maybe they could have a butler stay there oh so it can stay clean when uh, one's here you can be a female butler we could um my only worry with a female butler is that they will not wear anything other than pants like there's a butler uniform and I don't, I didn't know, that was originally my plan, was that there would be like a university professor um, and then one of the secretary girls and then four, wait, four, um, four students. And then I didn't know whether it was going to be like six or four students. And then I thought, oh, well, the secretary, I'm sorry, the, uh, the butler won't, will only wear pants. And I don't know how I would explain to them that men, or how I would justify in their terms that men are serving food and cooking and doing like women's work, essentially. Um, so that's, that's kind of what led to, okay, well it's the university professor and he has a wife and then she has a secretarial staff of volunteers. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very interesting to be like, Oh, well let's just do this very normal, you know, thing you would have like butlers and they would be kind of our equivalent to employees. And then I was like, Oh, we can't do that. Cause this is fundy land we're talking about. Um, so all of the adjustments you constantly have to make in your head to be like, well, what would be the, what would be a justification that how would I make this work in fundy world? <laughs> like, or at least my understanding of fundy world. Um, let's see. So uh, maybe it's not bad, not a bad swatch, but, um, I think I can do better. Let's put in a couch first. I also, Oh goodness. Sorry guys. Smack the mic. Um, Jacob, I can see there being a Knights of the Watcher Club or organization that's more extreme. Maybe Topaz has to decide if he wants to join them or not. Oh my gosh. Like, um, like uh, the Freemasons or something like that. Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? I wonder how long too. how long do you think that we should keep Topaz in, in Fundy College? Um, cause he, he could be there for a couple, like four years. If this is a four year degree, um, then he could be there for four years and we would keep him there for essentially f four seasons ish. Um, so I, I, I really don't know what to do for him in that way. Um, I know what I want to do. I want to stop time <laughs> and, uh, and have him like just focus on that for a while um, but you know, I've got, I've got an heir to age up and, and do things with, and I feel kind of guilty pausing time. Well, his time would be paused. I don't know. I haven't worked through that. Um, that sounds so cool. Like a secret society. Yes. I wonder how I would, how I would make that, um, or like where their meeting place would be. Um, maybe we could have like a basement somewhere, like a secret basement. I don't know. Um, let's, um, okay. I think I like this one. Um, maybe just a week, a season. Okay. Yeah. That wouldn't be bad. Um, and then I could, we could have probably like, th <laughs> I could make like three recorded, um, episodes over this or like two recorded episodes in a stream, um, maybe to finish it off. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's so, I'm so excited for this. Like, you know, it's just, it's another setting to have everybody in. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Um, it's another setting to have everybody in. 
Um, and it's just, it's something to break up us being at the ranch. <laughs> I love the ranch. The ranch is, is a nice, you know, it's a nice, beautiful, idyllic place, but it gets boring for me after a while. And so I'm always like, yeah, this is boring for me and I made it. This is, this is probably boring to watch. Um, let's, where's that, um, where's that base game set that I want to do? Like just super, super high class bougie. They have the best for themselves. Uh, because, you know, they're the president and his wife. Um, just make a club. Okay. All right. And then he could like try to maybe write to get into it. What would, I wonder what mischief they get up to. Um, or like if they have hazing, like what would their hazing be to get him in? What would, what would they have to do? Um, and... Like, what would he do to prove his loyalty to maybe the Watcher or them? Um, what would be... I bet we could think of some really good... I'm sorry, I'm, like, trailing off because I'm thinking about what I, what I want this to do. That's a lot of blue. That's a whole, whole lot of blue. Um... Let's, let's break that up a little. Maybe we could do like a nice dark red. I'll place that. I don't know. I don't know if I love this. So there, it's kind of like a studio apartment. There's a little, little living area, little dining area, little bedroom area. It's very nice. Um, recite the Ten Commandments. <laughs> you know what? Um, ooh, maybe he has to convert people <laughs> to be in the club. Maybe he has to like share his testimony ten times and have someone like Willow Creek is a great place to put. Um, to put Fundy College um, because there are normies just walking around that he can go and be obnoxious and convert. Um, he needs to go share his testimony and then they will, you know, they, they will decide whether they're converting to give their lives to the watcher or not. Um, You could really have him there for whatever amount of time you want since you pause time. Yes, for the rest. Plus, any mission trips finding his own congregation, you can pop in and out when you're... Get oh, yeah. Uh, I would imagine that they would claim they can do equal of four years in one because they don't have uh, time to fool around on, like, other colleges. <laughs> They could. Oh my gosh, that could be so like self-serving. Like, you know how the the. Ooh, I like that. Um. You know how the wisdom booklets, uh, they say, oh, you don't need, uh, science. You have our health classes. These is this is the equivalent of a medical degree, like all sorts of BS that just wasn't true. Um, this is the equivalent of getting a medical degree. Um, they're like, oh no, one year at our college is the equivalent of four in a regular university because we have the watcher guiding our way and they don't. Um, we use the principles of the watcher and therefore we've cracked the code. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that's super cute. All right, here. All right, that's exactly what they would say. Not super cute. Huh. Let's, I want a little rug here. And I also wonder if I toyed with giving them like a dog or a mascot or finding somewhere to put a llama shed and someone's job was to take care of the llama, but I just couldn't fit it in in a way that made any sense. So I was like, no, I better not do that. Um, but I, the temptation was so real. It was absolutely real. Ew.
Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Ah, I don't think I like it. Don't think I like it. Um, where's that one? The Vampire's Rug is a good swatch. Um, it, the Vampire's Rug has so many good swatches. And let's see. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. All right. That works. Perfect. Now let's get... Let's get some more lighting in here, shall we? Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, that's how to get some unfortunate souls to join the college. Oh my gosh. The mother bus family had said homeschooling does one or two hours. What? Let's see. The mother bus family said homeschooling does in one or two hours what public school does in eight. It doesn't. It does not. No, ma'am or sir. No. Um, mm -mm. So maybe you could possibly make an intelligent argument to say that, hey, because I am able to um, cater to the needs of my student specifically, and I'm not teaching 30 kids, 25 kids at a time, that it is faster, um, but you, it does not do. you. First of all, you're not that good at, at teaching. Uh, second of all, um, yeah, there's just no way. There's no way. Do you really know what goes on in an eight-hour class or in eight hours of school? I don't think you do. <laughs> like, when's the last time you set foot in public school? 30 years ago? 20 years ago? 15 years ago? Well, then you don't know. And I'm not aware of who the mother bus family is. I think I need to Google this. Um, I want. Look at. There's like fundy families from long ago. Oh, this could be like. I don't know. Maybe they went and did like some cosplaying. They they took like a honeymoon trip and they did like historical, um, essentially historical cosplaying. What is happening with this window? It's been glitching out and I, I am not about it, to be very honest with you. Um, maybe they did like a Colonial Williamsburg trip um, and for like a honeymoon or something. And they took pictures. Um, I kind of like that. I like that story. Um, also, is there one without a slash mark? There's not. Um, hmm. That's some more bougie art. All right, wonderful. And... I kind of want like a tea set or something here for them. You know, just very proper. Uh, they had, they have seven kids and live in a bus expecting baby eight. Look, I'm, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying that it can't be happy and right for your kids. And I'm not saying that you aren't providing some value in, having your kids travel and like all of that. But like, you know, homeschooling for eight is a lot. Um, if you are doing it right, that should be all you're doing. Um, the amount of paperwork that you have to keep straight and keep a hold of is nuts. Um, you should be testing in regular intervals. You need to like it that. Wow. Like if you are doing in two, two hours a day per kid, um, and you're grading all of that homework and you're presenting all those lessons, like maybe you didn't go to school for, uh, early childhood education, but I did, um, for like a couple of semesters, I switched my major. That is no joke. Absolutely no joke. Um, so maybe, maybe you should like... <laughs> be at home or 
get them in public school somewhere or private school. You could go private school. You could do that. Um, there's a lot of options. Montessori schools, like all sorts of things. You do not have to go public school route if you're not comfortable with it. Um, what was I looking for? T set, T set, T set, T set. Um, that would be in the wedding pack. My wedding stories. Lovely. And tea set. Okay. I like to think that maybe they have their little morning tea. Would that be better in like a coffee? That would be better in a coffee table moment over here. Uh, we're also going to get some lighting over here because it is dark. Uh, so dark. I can't see. Um, do, 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 do comfort. No, uh, surfaces, coffee tables. I have the wrong filter on the one that I want is a base game coffee table. She's very expensive and I thought she was very expensive. I want this one. And I want this to match. This does match. There you go. Wonderful. Love that for you. Um, seven kids and expecting baby eight. Wow. Like, that's, that's goals um, right there. I think big families are awesome. Um, but... In a, in a van. How do they fit everybody in? Like, are they, like, stacked beds that, like, come down from the wall or what? Like, eh, I don't know. On, on top of it being a family vlogging channel to, I don't know. The, the internet is, is not favorably opinioned of van families, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Like, as a single person, I think the internet has more... Um, more stomach for it. Um, hey, you do you. But there are definite opinions that I have seen about having kids in a van. And then that's their life. I think specifically because there are some that have come out that was like, yeah, no, my life stunk in that van. Yeah, I got to travel. But I don't know things about the Civil War. Um, I don't know how they're going to continuously physically fit, uh, I know, 10 whole humans in a bus once those humans keep getting bigger. That may be what pushes them, though. That may be the thing that they're like, listen, we have three teenagers um, and they're tired of their siblings getting underfoot all the time and having no privacy. There are things you discover in teenhood and urges that you act on in teenhood that you maybe don't want an audience for. And I don't know, that would make me, <laughs> that would make me find different alternatives. Um, because like we gotta, we, privacy is a must at this point. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to put in some nice little plants. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And there are like some, ooh, some specific ones I'm looking for. When I'm looking for them, I can never find them. Um, no, not that one. We're going to go for rent, man. There it is. That's pretty. Um, nice, happy little plants. Let's get in some lighting. Little lamps on. Gosh, for rent is, is so beautiful. Um, it pairs super well with vampires. It pairs super well with Realm of Magic, Get to Work, um, that kind of stuff, like old timey stuff. Ooh, so pretty and well lit. Um, let's do, I want some little flowers on here because I kind of took the tea set and where are those cottage living ones? Um, <laughs> I'm 
already impatient. Cottage living. Yes. Perfect. All right. So. I can't decide if I want the, um, if I want the oh, president of the university and his wife to be just like sweet folks who really do believe that they are doing a great thing or if I want them to be kind of a little bit more in the know, um, that like, Hey, maybe this doesn't work out great for everyone, but it's working out great for me. So I'm just not gonna, not gonna rock the boat. I'm not going to ask, um, too many questions, or maybe I have had the veil pulled back. And whilst I don't love what's in there, um, if someone else like, essentially, if someone else doesn't take the fall, then it's going to be me. So I uh, I don't know which way I want to take it with them yet. So that'll be really fun to discover. Ooh, look at all these. Gold display. Rose gold display. Maybe that's not right for in there. Um, but... Oh, I feel like they would have, like, nice jewelry. Okay. Um, instead. Let's get out some trinkety bits. Um, oh, that's cute. Maybe he got that for her. She just shows it. Um, or she just, she just kept it. Maybe it's drying. I don't know. Maybe it was fake. He told her, my love for you will fade when this flower dies and it's, it's a fake one, like a really nice fake one though. Um, let's see. I do like the idea that they don't have as many children. Um, and that's why he was able to focus on whatever degree he might've needed, um, to get this, this position. Um, like teaching degree or something like that. That's kind of cute. Uh, do we have a silver one? Silver swatch? We do. That's cute. All right. That's staying. Um, and he was like, yep. So I was just called to have three children or like maybe we tried to have more, but couldn't. Um, I don't know what their story is, but I think that they would have one. Definitely. And I want like nice, the stuff that are their urns essentially that I thought were just like really nice goblets and like, like, I don't know, like nice serving dishes and like their urns, a hundred percent urns. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh. This looks like it belongs up there. And let's see. I feel that maybe because he was a professor in a secular university, he may have thought it was ruining uh, the generation with its liberal and unwatchably ways. Oh, maybe, maybe he got convicted and was like, Hey, um, I'm seeing some concerning things in the world. And his reaction was to be like, Hey, I've got, I have these talents and these skills. So why don't I use them for the watcher? Like I've, I maybe believed always, but never to this extent. So why don't I just do something real with my faith? And maybe he even took a pay cut. Um, like he was preaching at like a Harvard university or something, wh whatever their equivalent is, and was like, nope, I'm convicted about this. Um, we need to, I need to really to do this. Um, and then later in life, maybe after his wife was done with her fertile days, was like, hey, let's go teach in a symbol college somewhere. I want to go teach in a symbol college somewhere. Um, and she was like, yeah, sure. That works for me. Um, maybe there was more discussion around it than that. Um, cause again, like I said, less pay. 
Um, but he got prestige and recognition. Um, and that's kind of its own payment, you know? Um... Where is... I couldn't have passed it already. There's no way. Um, what about paranormal? Yes, this is what I want. This is his side of the bed. And that's her. That her little photo that he keeps. Um, and... I really can't use anything else from here, can I? No. No, I cannot. Um, none of that would be considered very watcher honoring. Um, mm -mm. Can't use, can't use that. Um, I, I know the paranormal pack is so great. It is so cool. Um, what other, I want to do base game. Um, Got to get those goblets out. And... Ooh, uh, this is an award that he got. Look at the little crown. Um, this is a little award that he got uh, for for teaching. Um, maybe having maybe that was his first graduating class or something. We don't need this out here. Where are the goblets? Am I, hmm, how am I not seeing any of this? Ooh, this stuff we need, because we have a fireplace. Lovely. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. This, this is an antique urn. Do you know how many times I've put this in like formal dining rooms? Be like, look, this is our, our beautiful goblet. It's a collector's item. Like we, it's been passed down maybe from generation to generation. It's an heirloom. You know, that was my thought. This is also an urn. I just thought this was pottery. Thought that was just like a nice vase. Um, it is. It is a nice vase for someone's ashes. <laughs> Love it if get them the llama topiary for the front lawn and also the back. Yes. Okay. Um, we can do that. Let's see. So um, this is very. The single rose. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. That's good. Uh, llama topiary. Let's go this way. I think it's in bushes. Where's the llama one? Here's the llama topiary. Um, we can put her here and here. Is that the right distance away? I think so. Um, llama topiaries, wonderful. And then out in the back, Where should I put a llama topiary? Um, I also didn't finish the, <laughs> I didn't finish the landscaping around the back here. Um, that I am going to be, I'm going to be doing uh, here probably tomorrow. Um, how about we do it like this? And then I'll take these guys. And kind of line the, no, 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 that's not what I want. And line this. Big vases, like for gardens, etc., are also, oh, okay. Um, so maybe it's, it's literally not for someone's ashes. But yeah, no, I saw that and was like, um, have I been putting the ashes of, of expired sims 
in my formal dining rooms because like that's I mean it's the Sims they don't care but like you know I do that means something to me okay just get these guys somewhere around here So, I wanted to read you guys. I found I found some rules that some of them I don't think are are that terrible. Um but the internet does. Um thinks that they're terrible. Um others of them are like, "Wow, I can't believe." I mean, I can believe because I have an, enough experience with uh funny literature um through through this series to be honest. Um that it is a hundred percent believable but um big vessels in general really think like coffee oh all right so gallery is down for me oh no i'm sorry kelsey it's been it's been finicky um the last little bit i'm also gonna save this because i would be so sad if all the progress that we made just fell apart um we got the dorms done. I feel like I maybe want to move on. The dorms, the bedrooms. Um, I feel like I maybe want to move on to their classrooms now. One of the classrooms. Um, mm, I don't know which ones um, I want to do. So we could do... This one's pretty straightforward. I could do that one off stream. Um... Maybe we'll do the music room. So this is going to be for like uh, Sims that want to pursue a degree in um, like be a worship leader, for example. So they are, they would come here. I don't know what that degree would be called. Um, there is a name for it. I'm not sure which ones. Um what it would be called, but there, there absolutely is a name for that type of degree. Um, oh, is this the right one? Let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you very much, Wolf Girl. Thank you, Jacob. If you are enjoying the screen, the stream, please make sure to like it. Um, if you are enjoying stream or you've seen some recorded content and you would like to then please feel free to subscribe to the channel channel if you haven't already uh, it's a great way to make sure that you get notified when i post um that really really helps out the channel any engagement that you have that you feel organically inspired um, to do so all right i've got this one I think I'll do wall decorations kind of off. I'll just place everything the way I need it to go right now. Um, I also wonder if I shouldn't have like certain artifacts all done, like all ready to go. Um, like a shelf of them here. Um yeah <laughs> thank you vampire wolf girl for liking this stream so in the gender role alexandra rolled that yay all right awesome how is uh how is alexandrite feeling about that i think with their future being to have babies um that might that might be tough for him and all right i need Sing praises to the watcher. <laughs> Let's see. I want storage. I would like a shelf. I need a shelf of some kind. Like this. Yes. Um, I'm wondering. Hmm. I'm wondering if 
I think it would be in like realm, not realm of magic. Um, jungle adventure backpack. Um, if I might find something for them to like archaeologize, arch, I don't know. Um, for them to discover. So let's show all. Let's do. We need like old stuff. This is going to be like the history department kind of geology, history, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> and they are looking for evidence of all the stories in the symbol across different cultures for it to be backed up the way that they interpret it to. There is actually a whole debate. Ooh, counterfeit, 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 artifact shaped dirt clump. Does that mean? Okay. Um, this will be really fun. Um, 24 simoleons. This is something that they do every year. They bring in like off of dig sites and stuff. Ooh, I like that. Um, the dirt clumps will be in debug. Yes. I could put him or her in the gallery. Oh, that would be really cool. Once the gallery starts um, behaving for you, what's this? A fossil rock. Okay. Are you? Oh, you you can go up there. You do go up there. Um, counterfeit, 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 counterfeit. Okay. Um. An unauthenticated knife. I don't remember. How do you get things authenticated? Bronze harvest knife. Okay, great. Oh, no. I didn't want that. I just want, like, the dirt clumps. Um, so they could take them out and do what they need to with them. Um, oh, fine. They'll kind of show off some treasures for what we can dig up, like which artifacts we're looking for. Wouldn't it be really cool if you were the one that unmasked these things? This is stuff, this is stuff that Dan Barite sent back. Like he sent back the clumps and stuff that he knows or thinks isn't worth very much. That's what happened. Does three mean she likes, um, they can uncover. So in my roles, Kelsey, if... Um, if you would roll a one out of 10 dice and if it lands on whatever number you decide, like if whatever magic number you decide, minus seven, um, if it lands on that one, then they are not straight. And then you would roll, um, a three, um, three, five or seven, I believe, um, yeah, three, five, or seven, and it is a less likely chance that a person who identifies as female would be um, specifically same-sex attracted. They are much more likely to be bisexual. So if they would be same-sex attracted. Now, if this is a trans person, um, and they consider themselves male, that would mean that they would be attracted to men. Um, yeah. Or however you want to interpret the role. Because you're the watcher, right? It's your game. That's just how I play. Um, the... Maybe they get some of the artifacts from unscrupulous missionaries like Timothy or... I am sure that they do. I am sure that they get these artifacts from from Danny um, and that's part of how he funds his mission trips um, is by is by stealing stuff absolutely um, and they get them at a discount because of it 
because they're not really willing to check their sources or how harmful it was to get these things. Now, um, we need somewhere to put, let's see, I need shelving, um, somewhere to put like the geology rocks that we get. Um, Jacob and Aaron, I feel like this could be another aspiration, like a symbol scholar. Oh, uh, yes. I absolutely believe that. I absolutely think so. Um, like a symbol scholar would be so cool. <laughs> like it's, but, but there is enough in game that we can kind of, we can kind of play around with it. Um, so like, or we can kind of set those goals. So I think if he wants to be a symbolical scholar, what should, what are we thinking that his requirements should be? I think that he needs research and debate skill. I think he needs charisma skill because he's going to have to be able to give speeches. I think, oh, that's so pretty. Um, I think that he is going to... Um, have to have read a certain amount of books, perhaps. Um, just, just all sorts of things like that. Um, maybe I'm trying to think of what other, like what other skills a, a pastor would have, uh, because I want him to essentially do that. Um, now Topaz is ultimately going to leave the faith. We rolled for that. So, um, I kind of want him, yeah, I kind of want him to, I don't even know. Um, I'm doubting, I'm doubting what I want for him. Um, I don't know if I should have him want to set up to be more of a progressive pastor, or at least it would be more of a um, transition. So I'm trying to think of like what mainstream pastors do. Um, I wonder what the history degree requirements are in like Discovery University. Cause I feel like it could be very, very similar to that and be like perfectly fine and married. Um, research development, charisma and logic. Yes. I like that. Um, the logic is definitely going to have to happen. Um, I think he should also be polite. Um, so like he should have to do like polite introductions and, and things like that, um, or proper, um, uh, maybe earn proper through, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that would be really hard to do during university, like prohibitively hard to do during university. So maybe I would cool it on that one. Um, let's do, now, what levels? I think probably at least level four on those things, like one skill level for each quote year that he would be going if this was like a four year degree or equivalent, if they're touting that it's an equivalent. Check the gallery when you get a chance. Okay, let's see. So uh, let me do that Crystal Creations pack. Yes. Um, we are going to be posting that. Um, here's all sorts of like little poster thingies. All right, we're fine there. Lunar alignment. Oh, this would be definitely, they would think this was demonic. So we're, we're not going to do that. Um, Okay. So for right now, that's fine. Let's check the gallery. I do think it would be cool to have them do a symbol scholar aspiration to get the pastor trait. I think so too. Um, there are a lot on the Hopkins families. So, um, this, this is Corinne. Um, this is going to be one of our, uh, little secretarial candidates. Um, and for as long as she could remember, Corinne Hopkins has been getting in trouble. She could never pay attention. She found herself more interested in making potions than completing her wisdom booklet. Now her parents, Charles and Erica, are concerned about her finding her way in the world. Perhaps an up-and-coming pastor could steer her in the right direction. So, 
Um, I think, ooh, hello, Evan. For as long as uh, the Evan looks really cool, too. He is he's a music lover and he's cheerful. Oh, that's cute. Um, so she's got some family here. Let's do. The Josephs. Aw, Alexandrite. Alexandrite looks great. I really like the cottage um, living stuff for the females. So hopefully Alexandrite can find some peace or purpose, something like that, um, in, in their assigned, like in, in their gender something like that um we've got all right you 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 and you get rid of this whoo I'll tell you what, guys, what time is it? It is 10 o'clock. Um, so what I will do is I think we'll end it here. Um, we'll pause it here. I'm going to save this. Uh, we'll pause it here. I'll do some, like the rest of the decorating, off of camera. And next week, because I don't think that I will be ready to send, um, to send Topaz to Symbol College right away. We've still got to visit this place. Um, you know, Beth and James have to have to do their due diligence and come figure it out and, and visit this place before we do that. Um, next week, uh, we might do, uh, the stream where we place all of the families, um, in, um, in the household for this. So I will, I might do, I might do a, um, a headmaster and his wife, or I'll check the gallery, see if there is anybody, um, that would, that would be suitable. Um, and then we will, I'll place them. We'll give a tour. Um, and you know, we'll see, we'll see what, um, what everybody's doing, or I might do an episode with Corinne's family. Um, so we'll see, but next week we'll place all of the Sims that are going to be fundy and in Win Willow Creek, either for an education or because they just live here anyway, and they feel so lucky. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. I think this is going to be a blast. I cannot wait to film. Um, and worst case scenario next week, we can just still do, you know, we can, we can take a look at Garnet, um, and her, her aspiration, aspiration. We can take a look at Garnet and, uh, getting her placed and hitched possibly or courting at least. So guys, lots of fun things coming. Wednesday is going to be another, uh, let's build a story. And then Friday is as always Fendi Friday. Uh, Saturday we will do a stream guys. I am so excited to do all this with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for streaming with me. I will see you guys through the week and next time I stream. Bye.